This video is sponsored by Alpha Draft. Fuck the fantasy LCS when you have Alpha Draft. I already made two dollars and twenty cents by screwing around for five minutes. Check out a link in the description below. Hey guys, what is up? This is Pants R Dragon, and today I'm going to be doing a word guide for you guys and what to expect from this video. I'm going to be going in depth on like basically why you should word in a certain area and explain to you why it's a good word. And I'm also going to give you a few fast tips for you guys just so you can have better wording efficiency and just show you a few tricks on wording on some spots that you can do and just some spots where you can potentially avoid your word getting sweeped. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so let's start off with some basic noob tips. First off, bushes are always good wards, because a bush ward will usually cover three or more paths, so you'll always be getting value out of these wards. It also, of course, covers the fog of war in that bush, so that's a good thing. There are some situational cases where you don't need to ward in a bush and need to ward in another area, but we'll get in depth onto that later. Second tip, if you are unsure of what wards to actually place down, remember, three out of three wards placed is better than one out of three wards placed. Since, well, you're actually warding something and have the vision covered, instead of holding onto your wards and contemplating if you should have put it down or not, or maybe you're just holding onto it just because you think you can get a better ward somewhere. Either way, if you want to get better at warding and like just being efficient, always check the charges on your sight zone and see if you have 3 out of 3 wards placed. If you have like 1 out of 3 on the map or even 0 to 3, you're probably doing a bad job. So you should probably start warding up more instead of, I don't know, doing whatever you're doing. So a good tip to give you guys if you want to improve on warding is ward whatever bush you come across. Obviously, sometimes you don't want to ward a bush because maybe you don't need it, but it is a good habit to get into if you want to get 3 out of 3 wards placed on the map. Alright, so that's enough about the basic tips. Let's go get into some advanced tips for warding. So the only time you should ever deep ward into the enemy's territory or jungle is if you have an idea of where the enemies are and there's like zero risk that you're going to get caught out. Deep wards are very efficient because it gives you an idea of where the enemy jungler is or an idea of what the enemy is planning to do next. In the early game, it is very helpful to get deep wards in the enemy jungle because it tells you where the enemy jungler is at because if you don't see him on one side of the jungle then he's probably on the other side and that's how you get an idea of where the enemy jungler is so yeah it's very rewarding to have these deep wards into the enemy jungle but of course it is very risky to put them in the enemy's jungle because they can see you going into their jungle and maybe catch you up so if like if you are entering the enemy's jungle and all of a sudden you see them kind of heading towards your area and going mia there's a high possibility chance that they're gonna fuck you so you gotta watch out, especially if like the enemy is ahead, then you can't just walk into their jungle. And it's really all about map awareness. And also it's usually done when you have a lead onto the enemy team. Next tip is going to be helping your usage on pink wards. Basically what you want to do is you only want to use pink wards on territory that you can hold. The main idea around pink wards is that it is a permanent ward. As long as you can control the area that that pink ward is placed, then it's a really efficient ward to put. So generally that's why in the bot lane you want to put the pink ward in your tri bush if you're blue side or this bush if you're purple side. And if you're in the top lane, usually you want to pink this bush right over here if you are on blue side and of course the tri bush if you're on purple side. This ward should only be put here if you feel like you have control of the map. In this case I do feel like my team is ahead so I do feel like I can contest this pink ward if the enemy wants to try and do it. If you feel like your team is behind, you generally want to put pink words on your side so at least you have some kind of vision and not get invaded on or just, you know, kind of play defensive. The two words you see here placed are usually covered by the jungler and mid laner. Your jungler will cover one side while the mid laner covers the other. And this is a really good rule to stick by, otherwise you're going to have a lack of vision off the map. The only exception to all these rules is this pink word right here. At any stages of the game, if you ever place this pink ward right in this bush, the enemy will rarely come across it, because in the early game, the only way the enemy jungler will come across it is if he's coming from his base and heading to his red buff, then he will come across it, otherwise, he'll most likely miss this pink ward since his jungle route does not actually come across it. I mean, he'll never go across it unless he thinks about it when he's going from golems to red, or, you know, even wraiths to red. So it's a very good ward to place in the early game, and it's pretty decent in the mid game and late game too. Alright, now it's going to get a little bit more in depth and we're going to be going over Baron Ward Control and Dragon Warding Control. You're going to be learning what wards to place when you're trying to... You're going to be learning what wards to place when you're trying to control the dragon and contesting it. So these wards right here that I'm going to be placing are better than an occasional bush ward just because you already have vision of this river so you don't really need the wards in these bush. 
it's much better to have these wards over the wall so you can see the enemy coming to the dragon pit or baron pit and or make your decision to catch them right there and then or just simply to back off if you can't contest it for whatever reason. It's also much safer to ward over this wall than going a bit deeper if you don't know where the enemy is of course. If you're on the purple side and you're contesting the dragon, you want to ward this bush and unless you think they're coming in from the bottom side through the tri bush, you may want to ward the tri bush too. Although usually the enemy will have a pink ward in this bush right here, so it can be easily removed and there might be other wards to place instead of there. In this next case, we got to pick on the enemy so we can control the jungle since they cannot contest these areas because they can't win a 4v5. So this is where you can get like deep rewards and such and more dragon and bear control for your teams. Note in this clip I de ward this intersection instead of warding the bush at the blue buff. That is because that bush only covers 2 or 3 paths depending on how you place it while this ward covers 4 paths. And plus it's over the wall so you can see who's coming and of course you're kind of controlling the blue area already. If you're not controlling the blue area, hey, maybe this is a better ward since it might be a bit safer and if you go a little bit deeper, you might get picked off. Next up, like the previous Blitzrank clip, it's going to be the same thing over here at the Baron. You just want to ward over the wall to see who's coming to the Baron pit. Now, if you ever start Dragon or Baron or whatever, you always want to ward on the other side of this wall to see if the enemy jungler is coming and it is your job to zone them off or stop them from stealing it if you aren't a main source of damage trying to burn the Baron. Warding over this wall is also good if you don't want to go too deep and you know try and ward that bush by the wraiths. Next up we're going to be doing some in-depth ward placement and the first one is going to be this one. So right here, some people usually like to ward the tri bush, but in the early game, the ward I placed right here is actually much better as it does cover two paths, the river, and a bit of the tri bush. So it leaves you a bit more safer than just covering one area aka the tri bush, right? As if the enemy is smart, they'll tell their jungler that you ward the tri bush so they can just come down the river. But if you already have a ward covering the river, then there's no need to not ward this tri bush instead. Next up, when you're sieging an enemy and like you're about to leave the siege, always want to drop down a ward to see what the enemy's next move is. Because usually after you get their inhibitor, they'll probably try and contest Baron if your next plan is to do Baron. And so you can kind of react and see if you want to make a pick again or just do the Baron if they're not going to come. And also, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're going to recall anyway, so you'll have the sight zone charge. And yeah, it's always nice to see what the enemy is planning next. Next up is going to be a pink ward placement. So the pink ward you see right here, look how it's positioned more towards my side of the map. The reason you put this pink ward right here instead of like in the middle or whatever is because it is harder for the enemy to contest as you may be over the wall and can try and make a catch onto the enemy who is trying to contest that ward. Next up, we're going to be doing some ward tricks, yay! So as you guys know, there are certain ways to avoid getting a ward sweeped by the enemy team, whether that be pink wards or just the sweeper. So in this ward trick, usually people will sweep this wall and this bush at the middle to, you know, cover both sides. So if you put a ward a little bit more to the right and try and avoid the sweeper from locating it, you can potentially save your ward from getting caught. And all it really takes is putting your ward a few inches to the right. Next up, next trick is going to be the ward evasion at the Baron Pit or Dragon Pit. So usually what people will do is put a pink ward in the Baron Pit, you know, to sweep out any wards that is in the Baron Pit. But this pink ward does not cover outside of the wall. And so what you can do if you're afraid of the enemy taking out your wards, you can put your wards right here or here. This way the enemy needs an oracle to actually get true Baron control. So it's a good trick to have if you're like kind of behind and you want to see if they're actually going to do Baron or not. Although if the pink ward is outside a bit more to see those wards, you can always put your wards inside the Baron Pit so it doesn't see it. And also the ward that I just placed is actually a really good ward because what people would do is usually sweep these two bushes and it could be easy to miss this ward right here if they do not have oracles or a pink ward. Also, there's this top lane ward trick where I can't do consistently and I'll never remember. But basically, at this certain spot where my mouse cursor is and where my screen is placed right now and where my champion is located, you can place a ward right here on this spot and it will go to the bush. If you main top lane, you better figure this out because this is very useful. And it only works on blue side, it's like impossible to get it on the purple side. And as opposed to the Scar Ward, which is in the bottom tri bush from the Dragon Pit, which is actually impossible to do, you can actually do the Scar Ward at the Baron Pit with quite ease if you just click on this rock right here. It's not as precise as the top lane ward trick, and it is definitely more easier to do. Hey guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy this video, maybe you'll enjoy 18 tips on improving as a jungler in Season 5, which is an old video, but it's still pretty relevant and how to get better at League of Legends in my personal own view. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you guys next time.